lately I've been getting in trouble and I know you guys heard me say this over and over in the last few videos, but I think you can relate, right? I have some weight loss hacks, some things, some tips, some tricks to getting back on track, but also to lose those extra nagging pounds that we keep talking about and we may go up and down like a roller coaster, but I know we can get to a situation where we can stabilize what we're trying to lose and stay there, at least for a while, right? Okay, let's get into it. First, you wanna drink water before the meal. If you drink water before the meal, it'll give you a feeling of fullness, more satiated feeling and then you can eat your meal and pick a meal without feeling like you're starving. And so that will lead to weight loss because you'll be eating less because you have drinking the water beforehand. Second, you wanna take a smaller plate. You know the little plate that is for your tea, like a saucer, or it's for an appetizer plate? That size, that's what I'm referring to. Use those plates from now on and just eat off of that because that will force you to have portion control and to fit what you can on that plate. And hey, right there, you just cut at least a couple hundred calories right out of your meal. Number three, this is so simple, but you just have to chew more and chew often. Make your bites smaller, take that and slow down and just take the time to actually chew your food and taste your food. You can't be a fasting foodie if you can't taste your food and really enjoy the experience because that's what being a foodie is all about. For me, I want to fast so I can eat the best quality food that I can possibly get my hands on and just enjoy it. Chew more and I'm telling you, it'll make a difference. Number four, you have to cut your stress down. I know that's harder than it sounds. I know it is because I'm struggling with that as well. I'm finding that I'm going to bed earlier now and I'm taking about 30 to 45 minutes earlier and I feel such a difference. Cut off the electronics and things like that. Don't watch television. If you could stop watching television altogether, that will Hi. cut down some stress right there because we're watching the news or watching things going on in real time and it's really just not good for our psyche and for our emotional well-being. If you cut the stress down, that is going to help you lose weight, guarantee, because stress causes those hormones to kick in and then there you go. You are having a lot of extra belly fat or just weight in general that you just can't get off because you haven't cut down that stress. And the stress is also related to the sleep, right? So when you sleep, you actually do lose weight. And if you're not sleeping well, you're not getting quality sleep because of the stress, then you're just going around and around in a circle and you'll never release that weight. So as you change things in your life, whether it's something at work or whether it's just worrying about finances and things like that, look to God, pray on it. I know he will take good care of us and put that armor of God on you every day. Just remember, we are in his hands and we're in good hands. The stress should come off and fall off a lot easier. And then the weight follows afterwards. Number five, eat your veggies or your salad first. When you're doing that, you're putting a lot of great, good carbs that is good for you. Those antioxidants and vegetables, you can eat unlimited amount and you won't gain weight. If anything, you're losing because you're putting more water content food into your body and that's what feeds you because we're mostly water. So eat your salad first and that also will slow you down from eating extra food that you may not intend to do that also will cause extra calorie intake. You know what to do next. Number six, the other thing I would suggest is having detox water. If you're tired of drinking a lot of just plain water, have like a detox fusion water. There's so many types of variations that you can make the water really enticing and tasty. Things like cucumbers, mint leaves, raspberries, blueberries, Besides lemon and lime, we know we already do that, 
But think about those variations because you're getting a lot of vitamins and minerals without the extra calories. And that will keep you going and also keep you satiated as well. And number seven, take the junk food out of the house if you can. Now, I know you have family members in your house like I do, and of course, I can't really do that because they're gonna eat what they want. The other game you need to play with yourself is to hide it. Hide, hide, hide any junk food, processed food, anything that's in a box that you can put in the pantry. You can put it way to the back or put it up way high on a shelf that you can't reach and let the other family members get to it on their own. Just put it somewhere where it's not in your eyesight every time you walk into the kitchen and you're looking for something to eat, but you wanna eat something healthy and good and there's healthy snacks that you can do, such as celery with almond butter, things like that, or just fruit in general, instead of reaching for these kinds of foods that we know are not good for us. I know, I do it all the time and I'm sure you guys understand that it can get difficult, especially if you're stressed. Hide it from yourself. And number eight, you might want to eat your food by a window, somewhere where you get a lovely visual of nature of some sort. You're eating away from electronic items such as your phone, your iPad, your television. These are the things that we will mindlessly continue to eat and keep grabbing and reaching for more calories that we don't need and we didn't intend. So you wanna be focused and you wanna be present for the food that you're eating at that time. So sit down maybe with a partner or your loved one and eat with them without those distractions of the electronic items that are out there in the world. And it's in dating us, right? It's it's overwhelming us and we don't need it when we're trying to be healthy. So those are my weight loss hacks. Do you have any weight loss hacks that you can share with us? Please leave a comment below and uh, I'd look forward to hearing from you guys. I thank you so much for watching and always remember, caregiving begins with you. Talk to you on the next video. Bye.